So in the previous video, we finished up the basics that we wanted our blueprint to be for. So we now have it where it snaps to the center of our screen for aiming. Now we want to transition and move this all over to C++, where we're going to have our custom animation instance. However, right before we do that, I want to change up how we're going to set the optics. So that way we can just kind of have a dynamic amount of them based upon the, you know, the sockets that we actually have. So I just kind of want to have it more or less randomly placed and accessible through C++. So, what I'm going to do is, let's go to our character.h. Now we can remove the FP muzzle location. And there's actually another one, the gun offset. Let's get rid of that too, because that's not needed. And we are going to make a key array of few static mesh component pointers. And let's call this one optics. I want this to be a U property. I want it to be edit anywhere and blueprint read write. Okay, that's asking us to make this different section. So let's make it protected. So that'll quit complaining. And I'm going to go ahead and forward declare static mesh component because I don't think it is up here. Which it is not. And we're good. Okay, let's go to .cpp. Let's remove those where there are errors, comment out, and comment out. And we're pretty much good to go. So we're going to be lazy. We're going to add this the optics through Blueprint. Let's go ahead and stop and rerun. And same thing goes, we're going to go ahead and create a bunch of other sockets for this. Okay. Let's reopen to our first person character and here we have the initial optic so that's set up to be optic one at s underscore site so i'm going to delete that go to the event graph let's search for static component so we're going to add static mesh component static mesh is going to be the reflex site link it up so can we go ahead and set the Parent, I guess not. So we have the return value of the static mesh. So we're going to search for optics. Oops. We're going to go ahead and get optics. We're going to add the spawn static mesh to it. So actually, before we do that, let's. Go ahead and attach it. So we're going to do attach to component, or that's attach actor. Attach component to component. And we want to attach this to the gun. So FP gun is going to be the parent, while the static mesh, the reflex site, is going to be the child. So we're going to set the name to S underscore site. Which, what are you complaining about? Not blueprint visible. Okay, we'll have to set that later on. But to confirm that we have the correct name, I'm going to open up the skeleton, S underscore site, so that's fine. In which case we go through and we add it to our array of optics. So let's just see what happens. Okay, make sure it's attached, which it is. So that worked. Obviously, we're going to have some issues in our blueprint because we don't have an optic one. All right. So we know we want to fix that little warning right here. So it's not blueprint visible. Let's begin visible defaults only. I set that to blueprint. And we can just do read only because we're not altering it and save that. So that'll fix that warning. Now let's fix our, well, animation blueprint. So we try to compile, we'll have this issue. So basically remove that and we need to get an optic. So our optics array right here is set to blueprint read right so we can easily read it. Now we just need to figure out a way to get a current, well, whatever current optic we are on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna forward declare this outside of the class because we're gonna be using, using it more than once. 
copy the U property. Remove the category of these. It's not really needed. Actually, I'll just set it to uh, category equals tutorial, I guess. I can find it a bit easier. Then we want a static mesh component, current mesh, or current optic, rather. So this will be obviously our current optic. So when optics gets set, we're going to set current optic to be that initial optic. And then after that, we're just going to have some form of way to iterate through this optics array and set current optic to equal that one in the array. So let's see, let's go ahead and close down the editor, recompile because we're making changes to the header. Okay. Reload everything back up. Our animation blueprint. And let's search for current optics. We're going to go ahead and get the current optic and attach it to the target and save. So once we add the optic, what we want to do, actually I want to do this all kind of right here. Eh, no, that makes no sense. Let me do it back, actually back here. So Go ahead and set current optic. We go that first spawned optic. And we have our system working again. Great. Okay, so we're good to go there. We have a way to continually add optics. So what we want to do now is actually perform a loop to add several. So I'm going to do a for loop. And let's see. Let's go ahead and add that initial one. I'm going to do first index is going to be a 1, second index is going to be, or last index is going to be a, let's do 3. So we add the very first one, and then we perform our for loop. And we can honestly create a function for this, but, oh well. So we're going to do add static mesh component. We're going to want to attach it, and we want to add it to the array. So let's copy all that and paste it over. And we're going to be altering the socket name that it gets attached to. So let's go to our area 15 skeleton, change this from S underscore site to S underscore site one. Make sure we change or change that to zero. Sorry, not one. We're going to start at zero. So S underscore site zero. Okay. And then we're going to get the index and we're going to construct a string, convert it to an F name, and that's going to be our socket. So we're going to do string append, and we're going to do S underscore site, and then we append the index to part B, so it's going to be S underscore site 1, then 2, then 3, and put that return value in the socket name. Okay. So I add static mesh component, that's still all set up the same. And we add it to the optics array. So let's go ahead and create more sockets. So I'm going to copy this name, add another socket, S underscore site 1, and S underscore site 2, that's really fast moving. I'm going to go ahead and add the preview assets. We can see where they're at. And I'm going to put this guy, I'll just actually put it, actually I'll just copy the location of this one. Copy, paste, and move it straight up so it's right on top. Oops, about like so. And site 2, I'll actually do the same thing, except I'll move it to the right. Rotate it by about 45 degrees. and drop it down about there. Okay, save that. And that's gonna be our setup. So let's see what that looks like. Make sure it actually spawns, which it does. So now we have our optics set up in the funny way, obviously, but we have an ability to switch through them. So we're gonna pretty much be using blueprint events to fire off uh, C++ code. That's gonna change it for us just to be lazy so we don't have to bind input events for literally everything but we have the base of what we need to do. So now 
we have our optics set up and spawning. We have them all stored inside of our optics array. What we can do is set up the C++ animation blueprint, or C++ animation instance, create the blueprint off of that, reset that back up to confirm that it's working, and we can go on to adding some fun features, like optic switching, and the main thing, in my opinion, which is the interpolation. So what I mean by the interpolation, basically we're going to have, let's say uh, we go to aim, so we press right mouse button, what we do is we control it based upon the alpha. So let me say, let's say I just set the alpha to zero, for example. Press play, you can see nothing's happening. So we're at idle, and then if I bump that up to like 0 0.5, we are halfway to aiming, bump it all the way up to one. We are now fully aimed. So we use that to, and we interpolate that value to bring it up to our you know, our next site. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so now that that is set up, I will see you in the next video.